Hello everyone and welcome to Canadians with Disabilities and their Allies. Our upcoming next guest will be Vivica Alice and she's from the Single Mothers Alliance. I am so happy to have her join me on the show on Thursday, March 16th and at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So look for the time at the bottom here and you will see uh, well, see when the show starts. So uh, again, that's uh, Thursday, March 16th, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that's Eastern Standard Time at 1 o'clock. And uh, no time change. Well, actually, yeah, I guess maybe you might want to make sure your clocks are actually adjusted accordingly, right? Because that is the time change that takes effect. That's true. Uh, that's true. Sunday, yeah, yeah. So this true. Sunday morning. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, and also, uh, just to let everyone know that the show uh, may actually start a few minutes sooner on YouTube. So just uh, tune in. Uh, it's always better to be, uh, well, in my view, it's always better to be early than late. So if you want to catch the segment, just in case it does start a few minutes early, uh, you know, grab, uh, grab your uh, your H2O, um, you know, and uh, yeah, and just sit back, relax, and uh, have your questions ready for, uh, for us. And uh, just shoot them out there on YouTube, It'll be mm -hmm. live streamed. And uh, so, Neil, so tell me a little bit about uh, Vivica. Well, Vivica is the, um, she's the regional director for uh, Single Mothers Alliance. And I know there's probably a few people out there that will probably, probably say, well, what does the Single Mothers Alliance have to do with uh, disability advocacy? <laughs> and, yeah. uh, but it's a really interesting story because I first met Vivica way back in 2014 wow, and, yeah so it, it, it's going back a, a fair bit and and for some reason I just I was just thinking about her again because it's yeah. just um, I don't want to give too much of the story away because it's a, a really interesting story but but yeah. one of the hints of the story is it has to do with clawbacks and every, oh, yeah. and everybody know everybody who knows me knows that I'm a big uh, you know, I'm very passionate about the clawbacks of the uh, provincial government. And um, so the Single Mothers Alliance, uh, they were a grassroots advocacy group mm -hmm. that um, actually had success in taking the, the uh, provincial government to court and they won. And, wow, and awesome. That, and that was back uh, in 2015 where, where they won against the provincial government against the clawbacks and like i said i i i first met um vivica actually before 2015 so it was a little bit before that it was 2014 and we mm -hmm. kind of hooked up because uh she knew that i was passionate passionate about the clawbacks mm -hmm. and and so we kind of hooked up for a bit and yeah. um so i just thought it was i just kind of reached out to her again and i know it's like what is it that nine years later but I just thought it would be interesting. Only time. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to revisit that, and Absolutely. and realize how significant of a like a watershed moment that was, where a small grassroots, um, you know, advocacy group took the provincial government to court and they won, and so we'll just kind of look at that again <laughs> and. Uh, and see what what changed and what things changed for the better and, and what things didn't change kind of weirdly <laughs> um we'll, we'll look at that too and again I, I don't want to give too much of the story away I, I, I encourage everybody to kind of tune in and and just uh go, go along for the ride and we'll do, do a get a little bit of a re retrospective look at uh nine years ago <laughs> yeah yeah no totally and and uh you know, it'd be really interesting to hear uh, her perspective of what went on back in 2014, 15-ish area uh, compared to now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean, advocacy, it, it never stops, right? There's always things that we all learn going forward, uh, things that we want to see changed in the system. Clawbacks definitely have to stop, right? I mean, yeah. provincial governments, federal you name it, uh, like, please, just, like, stop the clawbacks, right? I mean, that's mm -hmm. all we're asking. Actually, we're actually asking, but we're actually telling you because it's lived experience, right? And that's, I have guests coming on on, on my podcast all the time, right? They talk about lived experience. So uh, listening to what Vivica uh, has to say about that mm -hmm. and 
and uh, and uh, what what you've gone through and what you're still going through, Neil. Yeah, um, yeah we're gonna dogpile all this in. So yeah, <laughs> like uh, yeah, just join right in there, everybody. And uh, this is gonna be an awesome show. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll, so, be, it'll be a great show. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know, log in like um, on your on your phone, your your tablet, your TV. Uh, yes, that's right. You can watch mm. YouTube on your TV if yeah, if you have it. You can use the uh, if you have a smart TV or maybe you have Google Chrome, uh, you know, there's so many ways of accessing it on TV if you can. Uh, and you could just submit your questions into us. There'll be a live stream, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, we're waiting for all the questions. So line up your questions now. Think about what you want to put in there. She'll be um, on we'll, She'll be on for about 45 minutes maybe. So it'll be a tight set uh, segment. Be, but, uh, yeah. We'll try to squeeze in as much as we can. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll try to get all the questions that we as we can, and uh, if, if for some reason we don't get to all your questions, uh, we will try to do our best to get her to come back as a follow up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and uh, definitely we will uh, we will compile your your questions, and uh, we will um, looking forward to well. Anyway, we're looking yeah. forward to see. Yeah. So. So what's yeah. the what's the date and time again yeah. along the bottom? Oh yeah, it's right there. So the bottom of the screen is uh, Thursday, March sixteenth at 10 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast, uh, that will be the time to sign in. If you're on the East Coast uh, in Ontario, I shouldn't say too far east because uh, now you've got the Atlantic and you know, provinces. But uh, if you're in Ontario, yeah, it'll be uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And mm -hmm. remember, turn your clocks, adjust your clocks on this Saturday. And that's the, uh, uh, the 11th. Saturday the 11th of March. Wow, already. Wow. Yeah, it's, wow. Uh, in the evening before you go to bed. Yeah, don't don't turn them on for any nights because I say Saturday. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah otherwise, ooh, you're going to be a head start, hey? That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> they were talking about changing that clock. I mean, you know, forward, whatever. I mean, whatever. I, I, I saw that uh, little clip in the legislature yeah. and you hear all these boo. Like, you kind of hear all, like, all this, like, <laughs> Commotion on in the legislature, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's always a, a divide on on uh, keep the time this way, don't yeah. turn it back that way, and just ah. It was kind of funny, yeah. Yeah, it's always good, yeah. always good humor, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll <laughs> see everybody on Thursday. Yeah, we'll see you then. Don't forget Thank to you. tune in a little bit early if you can, a couple minutes early. Sure. That sounds sounds like a great plan for everybody just to kind of be there and uh, just watch the uh, watch the great show. Yeah. Okay. See you then. Take care. Thanks, everyone.